I'm Julia Jackson, and this is Music Unite. Boy, I mean, I'm Jared. And I'm Drew, and I just ate eight pounds of beef. Right. You didn't even know that, but this is a private conversation. Right. We're over here at the uh, Smokehouse Barbecue on 528 and Barbara Loop. Yep. Coolest little uh, thing. Hey Gary, do you do you cook all your beef here on site? You smoke it. Nice. He smokes wow. it here. That's that's cool. I think it's a better way to cook it. Yeah. It's that's not propane. Um, I don't know how to cook. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to tell you what good music is. Right. We got Coming to Town, Dell, the Bunky Homo Sapien. Right. He's coming with someone else who's headlining. Uh, Windstrong, I don't even want to talk about him. Let's just talk about Dell. September 13th, Sunshine Theater. Um, basically, it, it is hip hop, underground hip hop from the 80s and 90s. And then right. if you like newer people, it's because of him. He laid the foundation. Yeah, it absolutely did. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, he was the rapper on the uh, first single from the Gorillas. You know, that really cool animated band. Uh, their song, Clint Eastwood. He's the rapper behind it. Really cool. Yeah. Um, really good. Really good music, man. September 13th. Yeah, that's a good show. Yeah. Uh, something that's not hip hop is uh, September uh, 17th. That's, that's our right. show. That's our show. Music Unite. Definitely not hip hop, but definitely awesome. Yeah, still good. Yeah. Oh, so you got Scattered Hamlet, you got Voice of December. Right, you got Skuldrin, uh, fronted by Dominic Cagliostro, one of the coolest guys ever. Mm -hmm. Ladies, he's single, and he's a looker. So definitely go see that show. Same night, though, different show. Mm -hmm. This is kind of the choose your own adventure episode. Yeah. At the launch pad, you got not Hank the first. No, not Hank. C certainly not Hank Jr. Right. <laughs> Hank the third. Right. Yeah. I love him, if only because he's the arch rival of Kid Rock. He right. hates Kid Rock. He hates Kid Rock, yeah. and he's he basically is Kid Rock except more badass. I'm pretty sure he's gonna pull up in his trailer. I think he drives a West Valla. And he's just gonna beat the crap out of you. Right I'm now. pretty sure he works at Launchpad because they. <laughs> like, he's, he's, he's there every other he's, month. He sweeps up after a. He balls through to play because he's always at Launchpad there. Yeah. So you know what? He's always there. So go see our show. Music yeah. Unite. Yeah, it's, it's Larkies. It shows the sunshine. Yeah. yeah. Malarkeys. That's where it's at. All right, moving on. The show is Geisha Hit Squad. Coolest name ever. If you have a vertical ID, this is the show for you. Because it's at a hookah house. Right. Hookah Hut, it's called Orchid, it's off Coors. Um, if you go to a hookah place, everyone's like, oh, vanilla, it's boring. No, it's the best flavor of smoke. It's the strongest. You don't think it would. Don't get blueberry. Anyway. All right, moving on. Same night, uh, has nothing to do with food, this next band. Not at all. Jason Daniello. Uh, that is going to be at Low Spirits. They don't even serve food. So no. you are out of luck. Check them out. Been around for a while, really good local band. Singer songwriter style thing. So if that's your scene, and you want to if that's your scene, you already know Low Spirits is the place to see it. If you don't, if, you, if that's your scene, you don't go out. Check Low Spirits out any night. It all sounds out. Yeah, it's really, really always really mellow. Always happy yeah. fun. So we got some monster bands coming to town. Monster, monstrosity, something, or something. I didn't want to say their name. Well, their names are My Chemical Romance, right, and Blink One Eighty Two, right. I don't even want to be in frame for this. You go and knock yourself out. I'm just well, kidding. they're swell. No, they're you know they're not for me, but they could be for you. Um, I don't know. Blink One Eight Two doesn't come here much. They haven't been here since Edge Fest. Yeah. Or that's the last time you don't need a shit about them. Yeah. But um, if you like, damn it, I'm sure they're going to play it. If you like, I met the girl at the rock show. Then you probably know how to say that song better than I did. Yeah. I so to them. you know, it's gonna be a good show, probably. Better show, the same night. Again, the same night. So many shows on the same night. You have yep. so many choices in the month of September. Mm -hmm. uh, Necromantics, uh, that's your- uh, Psychobilly. Rockabilly. Something Billy. Yeah. Hillbilly music. Either way, this <laughs> chock full of pompadours. So uh, that's, that's gonna be at the Sunshine Theater, same night, yep. September 29th. Check that show out too, because that's a really awesome one. Yeah. And then the, the way we end every show, the big show of the month. Heavy Hitters, which is usually at, um, Journal Pavilion, which is not called Journal Pavilion, which I think I've been saying that the last two shows, but right. no one that freaking stopped me on. It's, <laughs> it's called. Oh, nice. It's, like a, it's a Hard Rock Pavilion. It's the Hard Rock Pavilion, and that is. Uh, is that the same as the Journal Pavilion? Can I side Can we sidebar? Uh, it's sidebar? It's the same place. Okay, it's the same place. Oh, the Blue Way 2 is at the Hard Rock Casino. Yeah. I had to say it because it's yeah. part of the show. Uh, okay, and the final show, uh, you know, kind of our coup d'etat that we do at every show, the show that everybody's dying to see. Ba bam, Journey. 
Foreigner. Oh. Same night. Same night. One magical night. You don't have to choose your adventure on that one. Right. Just go to that show. If if this is if you've ever wanted to take a cougar out on a date, mm -hmm. that is the show to take them to. Right. Because eight dollar beers, they can afford it. Yeah. Music from their youth, uh -huh. they love it. They'll uncreak their loins and try to buy them a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get through this. <laughs> Did you snort? Ridiculous. <laughs> Buy them. It's okay. A dark beer and some WD-40. Make sure you get a ticket in the grass seats right. so that they don't go, What? What's that Asian doing on the stage? Right. It's not Steve Perry, ladies. Right, no, yeah, it's it's not. It's the uh, the Thriller from Manila. Yeah. I don't know his real name. No, it's just that it's the Filipino guy that sounds exactly like Steve Perry. Right, yeah. But, I, you know, I hope they made him change his name. This Steve Perry, too? To, to Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> that's if he becomes successful. Man, I guarantee the lead singer for Journey is Manny Pacquiao. That man can do everything. I'm gonna go on record saying Manny Pacquiao for president. So our concert report says go see Manny Pacquiao September 30th at the Hard Rock <laughs> Pavilion. <laughs> guarantee it. Right. Uh, wait, no, we have the sliders thing. Oh, all right. Hey, did you like tonight's episode? Head on over to the Smokehouse Barbecue on 528. And Barbara Loop. Yep. Right? Mention the show and uh, Gary throw you a free uh, chopped beef slider. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one. I hear they're delicious. Give him a high fry for us. He hates low fives though. <laughs> <laughs>